kill, 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 stab, stab, stab. Come on, just move, move. Ha, uh, come on. What? I'm hitting him. I am 100% hitting him. You can hear me drawing blue blood. Come on. I've hit him so many times. I'm done. What's up guys and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And for today's episode, we have a whole bunch more user made stuff. No more random levels, more custom campaigns from the workshop, as well as two of the coolest modded units that I think I've ever seen. This ominous albino angel is the summoner, and apparently he's a lot like me, in that he doesn't really like to be on the battlefield swapping slaps with all the random gumbies in this game. You know, he would rather be summoning units to fight for him. Now, apparently I have the power to control which units he can summon, but I kind of always have that power. I mean, if I want to summon units, then I could just summon units. I, I don't need him to do it for me. So what we're going to do is have two of them face off against each other, and they can summon whatever the hell they want. Like anything in the game, it's up to them. They're the players, okay? I'm just a viewer like you guys. <laughs> so go ahead and entertain us. Interesting choice, starting things off with a couple of very dead fire-breathing wagons. <laughs> Not looking too hot there, Red. You might want to summon something a little bit more interesting. Just a bunch more random units, guys. I'm sure you got something way cooler than that up your sleeves. You can choose literally anything in the game of tabs. Anything at all. It doesn't need to be a giant Afro caveman and you don't need to be chased down. There we go, that's a little more like it. Red, did you just summon another summoner? I know I said literally anything, but that seems a little cheap, right? <laughs> okay, Blue doesn't appreciate that. He's decided to go with a couple of giants, but are they just gonna be summoning twice as many units on the red side now? I should have known they would come up with a way, just some random loophole in the rules to break this game. But they're tabs units, they can't be trusted. You guys are not allowed to delegate responsibility, okay? Only I can do that. So you better kill the blue guy so that I can restart and make this a fair fight. <laughs> it's just never gonna end. They keep summoning more stuff into the pile. Wait, they're not even really fighting. They're just kind of glitching in on one another. Who are you? Some of these units I don't recognize. Look at this guy. I hope you two are proud of yourselves. Okay, we couldn't even finish your first match. They literally crashed the game, summoning so much random garbage and stuff that I've never seen before, and other summoners. Okay, I forbid you from summoning other summoners. I will delegate the duty to you, and you cannot pass the buck further. Now entertain us. <laughs> oh, really? Really? You're gonna go there? You're gonna summon the other special unit that I was gonna show this episode? That is just like a Tabs unit. <laughs> This is the Grim Reaper, and as you can tell, he is a total badass and probably shouldn't be screwed with. I don't know why he just turned into an exploding sun there for a second, but Red, that was kind of cheating. Do you two see this button right here? If you can't read with your stupid googly eyes, it says delete summoner, because I can delete either of you at a moment's notice, so for the love of me. Stop summoning other summoners. Stop summoning Grim Reapers. Stop summoning modded units. Stop cheating. I just want one good clean fight out of the two of you. You can... Really, Blue? I... I'm gonna have to change something because this is not working right now. It was bad enough that you went with the Ice Giant, which is perfectly fair. It's just a, a little cheap. But now you just get twice the army. Oh, okay, Red has decided to strike back because if there's gonna be rule breaking, we might as well break all of them. <laughs> I don't even know who would win in a fight, a Grim Reaper or an Ice Giant. I feel like the Reaper should just get punched into a different area code, but there's some weird glitching happening here. <laughs> Why does stuff keep flying? <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now. We got watches in the back just raining down fire on nothing because they're not all that smart. 
Oh my god, it's so hard to follow everything that's happening here. We got another Jesus tree giant. He's gonna do a whole lot, I'm sure. Can you guys just punch each other? Is, is that a possibility? Yeah, why don't you guys just do some quick summoning? No, I, I was thinking you could do some slappies, but maybe not. <laughs> like, the Grim Reaper is... The Grim Reaper's making everything fly, isn't he? Wait, 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 wait. Did he just convert that ice giant? That was a blue ice giant. I'm 99% sure that ice giant just flew in the air and then converted to the red team. Is that what the Grim Reaper does? And what the hell is this? Oh, my game's gonna crash again, isn't it? Like, nobody is getting any hits in on the actual summoners. Hopefully, this giant will get something. Come on, come on. He's right there. He's right. Punch him in his big stupid wings. He's running away. He's summoning mammoths between you. <laughs> you cowards! The red summoner keeps bringing units into the woods, and they don't know how to handle it. <laughs> so nothing is really happening except for my frame rate taking another dip. Oh, that's not a good sign. Stop. Summoning things, thank you. Okay, point to red team. I really did try to trust you guys, okay? And I gave you the benefit of the doubt, but you kept spitting it back in my face. So now I have removed your ability to summon summoners or Grim Reapers. You can choose from literally anything else in the game of tab. So entertain us. If you want Artemis, if you want a Monkey King, that's a little cheap, but it's fine. It's perfectly acceptable. It will not crash my game, I don't think. Not gonna lie, Red, you're in a little bit of trouble. You may want to get Uller on your side. Yeah, that'll do something, maybe. Artemis is quite powerful, yeah. Uller's good, but not that good. I don't think we've actually seen one of you guys get turned into a pincushion yet. It's really clever that they summon large units to block arrows. And I don't know if that's intentional, but it's the third or fourth time I've seen that where they just conveniently throw somebody into the fire. Uh, literally. Well then, I probably shouldn't be so hard on them, right? It's not their fault that they're made too much in my image. Right? I love breaking this game. I love crashing it and finding loopholes and breaking the rules. So of course they would. And I love screwing around with Zeus. So. Why don't we have them summon nothing but a dozen or so Zeus's? <laughs> yup, this is about as ridiculous as I could have expected. <laughs> I don't suppose you guys are ever gonna manage to focus the summoners, otherwise they're just gonna keep summoning more Zeus's. I think they're summoning them faster than they're going down. At the very least, we're gonna have giant piles of dead toga wear sooner rather than later. <laughs> 15 might have been a little bit excessive. Oh dear. If this keeps going, it's just gonna be one giant rave in front of the castle. Can anybody tell who's winning right now? Because I have no sweet clue what's happening. I haven't seen this many dead gods since a Kratos vacation. I'm just going to assume this is going to go on forever. It, it doesn't look like they're actually making any advancements. Every now and then, one of the summoners gets tagged by a lightning bolt, but I don't think it's really doing any damage. I'm just bad at this. What can I say? It was worth seeing, though. This is definitely uh, something. Well, since the summoners went and already ruined my surprise, I guess we can move on now to the Grim Reaper, who looks real serious. And it's not even the glowing red hot scythe, it's the lack of googly eyes that does it for me. And he's gonna face off against the King's Guard. I'm not even 100% sure what he does. He does convert units. That's what was happening earlier. We couldn't tell in the mess, but. He lifts them up and then converts them to his side. So he just took over the minds of half a dozen. That was really cool. That's what happens when he's glowing like a sun. And he seems to also have a teleportation strike. Wait, what? That seems a little excessive. Oh, really? What the hell kind of unit is this? This would never be allowed in tabs. That's so powerful. 
So we know that he can levitate the body and conquer the mind of a simple squire, but let's see if he can do that against some of the biggest and strongest units in tabs. Something that tells me you're not getting Snuffy's arse off the ground, right? Not much can, including his back legs. I think he glowed there and nothing happened. Right, we don't have any converted giants and now he's getting pounded into Burger Patty. <laughs> oh, that's hard to watch. I think that's enough from the modded units for now, so how about we check out some custom battles, the first of which is called Mammoth Tower, and it definitely delivers. <laughs> I'm gonna assume this is where mammoths come from, and that one on the bottom is really getting it. <laughs> Definition of a power bottom. It's like a 50-50 chance that as soon as I start this, either that mammoth tower is gonna go tumbling down, or it's gonna charge at me like the world's fluffiest, stupidest Voltron. <laughs> and either way, I wanna meet it with a tornado. I feel like that's clearly the only thing that could take on a mammoth pile. Not so much a tower anymore. <laughs> Get in there, tornado! I don't know if this is a good idea. I didn't expect him to be riding around on the mammoth's backs. That ever happened before? I don't think they can hit you up there, right? <laughs> You're just drilling down through them. I mean, they took out all your cheerleaders, but they would have died to the tornado anyway. Oh, 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 tornado's in trouble. You don't want to be underneath their fat asses, duh. What if we try to freeze the tower? Maybe that'll stop it from falling, right? A whole bunch of oolers will just flash freeze from the bottom up and we're definitely making progress. <laughs> well, some of them never touch the ground. Yeah, there we go. It, it's a bit of a monument to mammoth kind. You would think they wouldn't really care about ice, right? They're from the Ice Age. Here we have a campaign called the Teacher 1v1's Other Units. Unit possession. You can't beat the fight this impossible. This challenge 1v1, you should use unit possession and third person using units red the teacher, not blue, versus all blue units can defeat fight by the Wizard Royal. Well, Wizard Royal, we will see. I'm not gonna lie, I've read that description like five times and I still have no idea which of these two I'm supposed to be. <laughs> like I would assume since it's level one square, I assume that's supposed to be Squire, but because it's easy, I'm probably supposed to be the teacher because beating a teacher as a squire is not easy. <laughs> so you know what? I am gonna become the teacher and I will defeat everything. <laughs> uh, oh, on guard. And then, aha, there we go. You see, pretty easy. A little dodge, a little parry, a little stab, and now somebody's gonna need to find themselves a new squire. Level two, teacher versus teacher. And that's apparently still easy. There's no way that's easy. I can guarantee that that guy knows how to be a teacher a whole lot better than I do. Uh, am I supposed to wait for you to make the first move and then, then I stab? Just gotta wait him out. It's just one little slap with my sword and then they kind of collapse. I'm like 99% sure that a teacher can't deflect ranged attacks. He's not a samurai. What? That means there's at least a 1% chance that you won't catch that spear in the dick. There's like 13 levels after this one, and this is considered easy. So there has to be something that I'm missing here. Maybe we could just kind of sidestep and have it go through us. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Uh, uh, hello, lovely weather today. Good to see you. Oh, no, no, you, do, you don't. Are you kidding me right now? Well, at least now we know what we need to do, right? We just need to do a bit of an awkward sidestep and you'll miss and then <gasps> I'm gonna do my best to keep some distance and I can't swing at you. Again, lovely day. I'm just uh, working up the courage to cut you down. There we go. Why was that so difficult for an easy level? Moving on to the stick. And this should be quite a bit simpler, right? Nice <sighs> melee combat. I just parry and then stab and then stab, stab. There we go. I guess I just had to find the little blue man in the haystack. It took me a good five minutes to beat a naked man with a sharpened rock attached to a stick. So I'm not 100% sure how I'm supposed to beat a heavily armored hoplite, 
But I guess there's only one way of finding out, right? Maybe I could just parry and then stab. And then stab, stab. Stabby, stab. Come on. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it takes a couple of swings. He's not exactly the most precise, but as long as he's not dying, I don't care. I've beaten two people with spears already, but I don't really want to face off against somebody who taped those two spears together. This seems a little excessive. How exactly am I supposed to get in on you? Oh, something like that. And then, and then, okay, I know I was saying that I don't really care if you don't stab, but I, I would really like you to stab right now. Please, please stab. Thank you. I wish I could feel like this was Dark Souls level of combat, like the perfect dodge, the perfect parry, the perfect strike, but in all reality, I'm kind of just button mashing, which I'm sure a brawler can appreciate. Something tells me this guy isn't exactly gonna be about form and function. You don't wanna know where that ax just went. Let's try that again, except for this time, we're not gonna end up like a freaking stump, okay? All you gotta do is dodge, good dodge, good dodge. Then you gotta stab him in the back. You gotta stab him. Stab him in the front, stab him in the back, I don't care. I, I hate that I keep getting good openings for my proper movement, and then just kind of Muppet arms and wet noodle of the sword all over the damn place. We couldn't deflect a spear, and it was very difficult to dodge. Not sure what we're gonna do against a boulder. <laughs> this is gonna be on the fly thinking, maybe if we go to the right? Nope, looks like he's fine throwing to the right. How about we try to the left? Right, maybe he slept funny last night and he's got a bit of a crick in his neck. Okay, now stab, stab, stab. Stop staring him in the eyes and telling him what you're gonna do to him and just stab, thank you, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is such a piss off. He just collapsed your sternum with a boulder. You don't need to get cocky. I'm confused. So we're supposed to face off against a fan bearer as our first hard level. We already faced off against a Spartan warrior. And the guy throwing a boulder the size of a golden retriever. So what's a stupid little servant gonna do with a fan? This should be easy, right? As long as we don't get a concussion, we just gotta keep walking up to him and, and then stab. You know, just, just give him the old stabberino, oh. stabby doodles. That wasn't so hard. If anything, I'm a little refreshed. All right, now that's not fair. Right, just as a reminder, the king costs five times as much as a teacher, and he swings a sword that's bigger than a teacher, so what exactly am I supposed to do here? I don't think I can dodge that giant clay more of his, or maybe we can. Yes, there we go. Stab him right in the pantaloons. Oh, how is this working right now? Just, just keep stabbing. Are we stabbing or not? I feel like we're just hacking the bone of his shin. Come on. I feel like that was actually going places. You know, like three or four more hits and we might have gotten his pants off. What else am I supposed to do? I did not sign up for a David versus Goliath moment today. Maybe we could just run away. Hold on. That, that kind of worked, right? He, he's having a hard time swinging to the side. So if I just keep dosy going around and swinging inwards, we'll hit him sometimes, maybe. Grab your partner, do -si do stab him in the dick and run away. Please don't hurt me, I'm a good boy. I don't really want to die. Oh my God. Stop smelling his feet. No, no, stop. He teabagged me and then finished me off. God damn it. Oh, this might be good. I've got him all tangled <gasps> up and he's untangled. That's not good, that's not good. <laughs> this is all I could do to survive, is just run around, hope to stab him, and then if I get stuck on his ball sack, I'm done. I'm just so screw, run, 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 run away. Space doesn't do anything, it's just a placebo effect. I don't think I've dodged a single attack this entire time. <laughs> please, please, this is the best I've ever done. No, don't. Just hug him with your sword, stab him with it, run! Oh, any one of these would be an insta-kill on me. Don't, don't, don't kill, 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 stab, 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 come on, just move, move, huh, come on. What, I'm hitting him! I am 100% hitting him! You can hear me drawing blue blood! Come on! I've hit him so many times, I'm done! We're moving on to a level called wall formation. And unfortunately for these guys, I need to let off a little steam. Let's see how that cute little square does once I blow it to the moon, okay? We'll send their bards back express trip. 
<laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Send a message. Now, catapults. It's like dummy bowling. All you gotta do is go right down the middle and send them into the stratosphere. Definitely appreciate that. <gasps> oh. Oh, no. They're getting a little close. There's more of them than I expected. Catapults, what are you doing? <laughs> I mean... The guys with the shields are at least getting a little dizzy from flying around in the rockets. You have got to be kidding me. How did they survive this? They're so compact. It's like a catapult's wet dream and we just got worked. Change of plans, tornado mode, activate. This should do it, right? This has to get off the ground. Come on, cheer harder. There aren't that many of you and there's a lot of them. I need a tornado and I need it now. <laughs> Did it work? Oh, it worked. Yes. It's kind of working and it's dead. Wow, that's disappointing. You better start running a little faster, cheerleader. You got a whole lot of company behind you. <laughs> You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And I'm still loving user-generated content. It's like I said, it brings so much new stuff to the game that I can definitely get a few more episodes out of it. So if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, leave some recommendations in the comments, and I'll be sure to return for more soon. And thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.